and you want everybody to survive. You don't want your house to collapse on you. No, we don't. Experts have said over and over, of course, that we're due for a giant earthquake, which could force people all across the region to fend for themselves for days. Yeah, many homes will be destroyed, so some homeowners are getting their homes seismically retrofitted. But tonight in a Coin6 investigation, we reveal there are homeowners who are not getting what they thought they were paying for because there are no rules about how a retrofit should be done. Recently, we were doing a story on seismically retrofitting homes with contractor Michael Weber, who's been specializing in it for 25 years. This is a retrofit anchor bolt. We were covering the basics when suddenly he said the unexpected. You can do anything you want and call it a seismic retrofit. Interesting. It is a wild west. It is a wild west. You can do anything you want. Anything you want. The wild west as in unregulated, only requiring a rudimentary drawing. The inspector looks at this, he looks at the work, and he says, yes, that's what you did. Not that it would in any way be effective in an earthquake. This is considered to be a voluntary upgrade. And he said the inspector will come out, the inspector looks at this and looks at the work and says, yes, that's what you did, and then signs off on it. Yeah, that, that is pretty much what they do, the inspector, because there isn't a code standard. Terry Whitehill is the head building code official in Portland. All we do is look at what they're proposing to do and make sure that they're not making the building any less safe than it already is. He says the state mostly leaves voluntary upgrades like retrofitting up to cities and counties. The city of Portland's website does have guidelines about how a retrofit could be done to a house. And according to the state of Oregon's Construction Contractors Board, the city of Portland is the only jurisdiction in Oregon that has adopted specific prescriptive standards for earthquake retrofitting. But the key word in that sentence is prescriptive, meaning the city is only offering suggestions. No one in Oregon or Washington has any requirements about how a home seismic retrofit has to be done, which means contractors don't need extra training to do the work. There's people out there doing this that are not qualified? Well, let me put it this way. Probably once a week we're retrofitting a seismic retrofit that was permitted and installed by a seismic retrofit contractor who does nothing but seismic retrofits. It's the Wild West. You know, I don't expect that this house will come through a huge earthquake with not a scratch. Dr. Mary Lou had her Portland house seismically retrofitted three years ago. Recently, she wanted more work done, and when she brought in structural engineer B.J. Cure, who specializes in retrofitting, he gave her bad news. If you're missing these ties right here, then the house can actually slip on this plane. The previous contractor used brackets meant to keep a house from lifting off the foundation in a hurricane, and not the clips that guard against the side-to-side -side motion of an earthquake. I go out to houses all the time that, that I see shoddy work. People aren't getting what they think they're paying for? I would say yes. We haven't had the best luck when we've tried to do seismic ordinances of late and so uh, as much as we know how important this is, if you don't have support out there in the community for this kind of work, it makes it really tough to, to put uh, requirements in place. Whitehill is talking about the city of Portland's failed efforts to require the owners of unreinforced masonry commercial buildings to do retrofits. He hasn't heard any talk of changing the codes for houses to ensure homeowners are getting what they think they're paying for. If I can at least have a little bit more certainty that I can be in this house and it's not going to fall down on my head and crush me, you know, that's, that's really the peace of mind that I'm looking for. So there's a flip side to this you want to keep in mind. Both Michael Weber and BJ Cure aren't necessarily calling for more regulations because they're concerned if government puts in more codes, the added expense will keep more people from doing retrofits. There's a saying that doing something to a home is better than doing nothing. Retrofitting is expensive right. as it is, right? So what advice are they giving homeowners then who want to do that? They're saying that if you have a house that's on a hill, especially on a hill, mm -hmm. or maybe it's an irregular shape or size, that you definitely want to hire an engineer. They say that the, 
The prescribed way of doing this on the City of Portland's website works for about 40% of homes, but 60% need some special attention. We have a lot more uh, information about this on our website at queen.com. You can go there. You can also uh, learn about seismic retrofitting as well as earthquake insurance. Just click on weather and earthquakes.